Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my vlog of Hogwarts in the snow at the Warner Brothers studio in London for the making of Harry Potter. I am so excited to share this vlog with you so let's get started. <music> So I really wanted to go back to Harry Potter world as I like to call it in London once I had been in September 2022 with my best friend and I just felt like Hogwarts in the snow was just the perfect Christmassy thing to do and it kind of expands Christmas doesn't it really so even though it's January it's still technically Christmas for me. <laughs> So let's just dive straight in and enjoy all of the magical goodness that Harry Potter world has brought to us with Hogwarts in the Snow. I think I might have to do some voiceovers because the sound is so bad. I don't think you're going to hear the original stuff, so I will do that for you now. <laughs> Good morning. I hope you're all doing really well. I have just finished getting ready. I've just got a few more things to pack and then I'm going to get the bus to the train station and head on up to London. So I'm pretty excited. I'm obviously nervous as well because I always get nervous when I travel. It's just something I always get really anxious about, I guess. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's raining so much here today. So I'm hoping I don't get completely soaked to the bus stop, but we will see. Anyway, I'm excited, so let's go. Hello everyone. I have just arrived in London at my hotel room in Paddington. I'm just going to do a quick room tour and then I'm going to meet a friend for dinner. Okay, so here we have the toilet, which is a separate cubicle from the rest of the room, which is quite nice in many ways. We all like that separate space, don't we, for a little bit of privacy. As you can see, it's very basic. And then this is the room itself. It's quite a small single room, possibly the smallest room I've actually stayed in in London before, but it was really close to Paddington, so it was quite good to have such a close space. You can see the window literally looks out to a wall so there was no view or anything for me to look at whilst I was staying here but it's got all the amenities you need which is a bed, a toilet, a shower and a TV so it's kind of all that you really need if you're just staying for a couple of nights right so there's the single bed itself, the pillows were a little bit flat and the actual bed itself felt quite old. This is the shower as you can see in the room just next to the bed with the hairdryer and the telephone there for the reception. And then the other side of the room we have the wardrobe which I apologise for the fishbowl view here but it had extra blankets and a mini fridge which kept wearing like the entire night. So quite a basic room. And then I met my friend Joe for dinner and I had this lovely vegan burger which was really delicious but it was so good to see Joe. I have just got back from having a lovely dinner with my friend. I think we spent about six hours just catching up and having the best time. I think I'm going to chill and get ready to bed and for an exciting day tomorrow. Good morning everyone. I am up and ready to go and face the day and have just the best time. I slept okay. I think I'm right by a train line and every 10 minutes or so the whole room would shake with the sound of the train. But I kind of was so tired. I just conked out and I was fast asleep so I've just had the weirdest shower of my life. It was either boiling hot or freezing cold <laughs> but I'm going to go and get myself something to eat for lunch and then head on up to the Warner Brothers studios so I will see you there. <laughs> So I finally arrived at Watford Junction Station and this really cool bus comes to pick you up and it's just plastered in Harry Potter stuff around the side of the bus and inside. It's just really nice. I think it's an electric bus that they have actually. And we finally arrived about 20 minutes later. I don't remember these massive ones being in the entrance when I came in September. So either they're new or I just genuinely was so excited when I last came here. I didn't take that in and I'm probably sure it's that one. I don't think they would have got brand new ones. So then I made my way into the entrance hall, which is amazing, as you can see with this huge dragon hanging here, and they had this absolutely gorgeous Christmas tree for Hogwarts in the Snow. I thought it was really pretty with all these fake presents. I mean, they obviously work really hard on displays. So then I made my way over to queue with everyone, going past Harry's cupboard under the stairs, and this bit is kind of a secretive bit they have at the beginning, and it leads you into these two rooms. And then you come through into the Great Hall, which 
is always the most exciting bit. Honestly, it's so beautiful and it's so big. You just can't believe how big it is. And I was really excited to see their Christmas decorations. They had these amazing trees, which were just so beautifully decorated and all this fake food. I think they said it's resin food that they actually have on the tables because then it doesn't get spoiled. And honestly, it just looked absolutely incredible. They clearly worked so hard on making these displays look like this. And I just love the little witch turning around at the top there. <laughs> so cool. And then I made my way down the hall. I mean, honestly, it just, it's such a big room and it's just so filled with, I think it's just so much magic and joy. Honestly, it's my favorite set probably because it's just so big and so authentic. And it's just so nice to be able to actually walk through it. And then at the very end, they had this beautiful fake ice sculpture and these three huge trees, obviously representing the Yule Ball. And it just looked beautiful. They had all the seats for the musicians to sit there and they worked so hard. It looked absolutely amazing. I was really excited to see this. I think this was probably like the biggest element of Hogwarts in the Snow that they had on offer. And it was absolutely stunning. So then I made my way into the rest of the set area and you obviously start with these beautiful costumes that they have on offer, which I think were all of the Yule Ball costumes actually to kind of fit with the Hogwarts in the Snow theme. I mean, the detail in these dresses are just incredible. It's just things that you wouldn't pick up on camera. I love this bit here where they have a replica of the ceiling for the Great Hall. It just looks amazing. It's so beautiful. I imagine that they use this quite a lot actually. And then they had all the chocolate displays, which is what they had for Yule Ball. And then this beautiful dress that Fleur Delacour wears. I mean, it's so petite. It's such a beautiful colour and it's so beautifully made. I absolutely love that. Opposite that is this massive replica of the Leaky Cauldron, which is really cool. Love this set. And then opposite we have this, I can't actually remember which part this is from, but I'm pretty sure it's from one of the sweet or joke shops. And then we have one of the stairs. I would have loved to have seen more of these or it would have been cool to be able to walk up them. I think they're amazing. And the proclamations by the worst headmaster ever. And then we come to the Gryffindor dorm, which is really beautiful. I wish you could go a bit more into it actually, because it's a really fascinating set to see how small the beds are and, you know, just all the details that they have and all the little Christmas tinsel and stuff. It was really sweet. I definitely really liked this set. I think, as I say, it would just be so much fun if you could walk a bit more into it. And then you can tell which bed is Ron's because it's the scruffy one here on the corner with the really, <laughs> really funky slippers on the side here. One of the fun things about coming on my own is it gave me an opportunity to notice things I hadn't noticed before. And that's purely because I got so excited the first time I came. I was just running around the place and just taking a look at everything. Oh, here is the beautiful potions lab. I mean, oh my gosh, this classroom is so beautiful. They put so much effort into all of the little labels, all of the vials, like everything is just so well thought out. And I really love that you get to really see that and immerse yourself in that and just witness how cool it would have been to do potions. I honestly think it would have been such a fun subject. And then there's good old Snape, you know, just looking ever happy in the corner there. <laughs> pretty pale, but then he's pretty pale anyway. And yeah, this is just such a magical set. It's probably one of the biggest sets, um, apart from the ones that you walk through, and I think it's really good. So I really love this set. This is the Slytherin common room, and I think it's really nice. I actually think it's bigger than the one that they have for Gryffindor, but also it just looks really comfy, and there's loads of great places where you can sit and read and just chill. I feel like this would have been a really great common room. I really wish they'd had common rooms for Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw, but obviously they didn't feature that in the films, so it's not gonna be there. But that's such a shame, because it would have been so much fun to see that and take part in that. And opposite is the enormous clock, which is always swinging to and fro, and the entrance to the headmaster's office. And then we have the Gryffindor common room, which is quite a small set actually. I think it's quite deceiving how big it is in the films, but it's a really beautiful set. It looks like it would have been a really cozy place to be. So yeah, I definitely really like this set as well actually. And then we come to the main man himself, good old Dumbledore's office. I absolutely love this set. I think the room itself is really cool. Like I would be super happy to have a library like this in my house. Imagine how cool that would be. I love anything that's like a circular room or a dome or anything or an archway. I just think they're really pretty. So I think this room is, is possibly one of my favorites in terms of what I would want to have in my own house. <laughs> If it was possible for me to have something like this, I think it'd be amazing. But again, all the details, all the paintings, just everything is so well thought out. They put so much love 
and attention to this, even down to these memory files. They're just absolutely amazing. I think the whole thing is just beautifully done. And then, of course, we cannot miss out on the Ponceve itself, which is just such a cool place to get a picture. And the Triwizard Cup, which was amazing. It's so much bigger in person than you'd imagine it to be. It's a really beautiful prop. And we can't forget the lovely Hagrid's hut, which was looking super Christmassy with just loads of snow outside everywhere and Fang sitting there looking cute. I just really love this set. I wish you could kind of go into it a bit more because there's so many details. And round the corner from that we have the door to the Chamber of Secrets and then the lovely Ford Anglia, which wasn't moving actually when I was there. Then we have the burrow, which is a really tiny set actually. You'd think it would be a lot bigger than it is. It's quite long and narrow, but it's filled with some really interesting details and you can't quite see, but it was snowing through the window, which was really cool. Then the massive megaphone they did the dancing for, for the Yule Ball, which was really cool. Then I headed into the Forbidden Forest, which was looking very Christmassy. They had loads of snow everywhere, which was really cool. And all this smoke, and mist, and oh my gosh, it was really cool. And look at Buckbeat, he looks amazing against the snow. Like this was a really cool set actually for Hogwarts in the snow. I really enjoyed this a lot. And just around the corner from that was this Christmas shop I found, which obviously only opens when they do Hogwarts in the snow. So they had so many decorations and Christmassy things and presents and things in here. And it was all discounted obviously, which was great right up my street. So I was having a look at literally everything. And I mean, I could happily have gone into spend mode, but the decorations are really pricey. They're the kind of thing where you'd want to get like one or two a year, but the designs are gorgeous. They're really classic and timeless, which I like. And yeah, this was just a really fun little shop actually to go around and have a look at. These biscuits look delicious, but they were £25 for three, and I just thought, yeah, that's a no. And then we have the Hogwarts Express. Yay! I love this set so much. It's so cool that it's a real train and it's just sitting here, steaming away, toot tooting away. Do they toot toot? No, they probably toot toot really more than anything, don't they? But anyway, so this time I decided I was going to go through the Hogwarts Express because I didn't get a chance to do that. And what they've done is each carriage represents a year or a film, really. So you get to see inside the carriages as what each year represented. So like, obviously, that's when the Dementors came and then the Goblet of Fire and all their sweets and their trunks and just like everything that they could possibly need when they're heading to Hogwarts. I mean, it was really cool, actually, to see each year in that set staying like that. I wish you could kind of go in there and sit in there, but directly opposite is where the green screen experience is. And I definitely recommend using that for photos and videos. It's so good and it's just a lovely set really. Honestly, they must have had so much fun filming these films because the sets are amazing to look at. Then I decided to try the Butterbeer ice cream, which was absolutely enormous. And as you can see from my face, it was really good. It was like a really, vanilla-y honey flavour. It was delicious. Professor Sprout's Greenhouse. I love this set. I wish there was more to do in there to be honest because it's really cool. It's just so authentic and I just love that they've made all the details and that you can pull all of the mandrakes out and hear them scream. Obviously it's not as loud but it is really really good fun. I think this is such a fun set to come in. Here we go in three, two, one. <laughs> I love that so much, it's so funny. <laughs> Just watching them is so much fun. Okay, then we went into Privet Drive. This was my first time going in here as well. I loved this display. It was really cool that you could see all of the letters and then obviously you can see when Aunt Marge is literally blown up, which was really fun. And then I wanted to take you guys down the bridge. I love this from the movie. I just think the scene with Neville is just so funny. So I wanted to come down here and this lovely lady asked me to take a picture of her. It's just really cool, this part. I love this bit. Then they have all of the creatures and the props that they use. So like they have Hedwig and they have Dobby, little Dobby. And they have the Thestral and just all of the details. They also have these really tiny models that they designed and created as well. And then we have my second favourite set probably, which is obviously Gringotts. I think this is amazing because it's life size. It's enormous and you can walk right through it just like you can with the Great Hall. There's so much to see here. Like look at the size of these pillars against my hand. They are enormous. The detail is amazing. The craftsmanship is amazing. The floors are absolutely stunning. Look at the details there. They're amazing. I love this set. I think it's so cool. <laughs> I wish you could stay here for longer actually, but there's just so much to see and do you can't always take everything in but yeah this was really cool I loved looking at how they go down to the vaults and like all the details and the lights and everything was amazing 
I mean, just look at this view. It's absolutely amazing, the work that they put into this. Bellatrix Lestrange's vault is incredible. Look at how many things are in here. I mean, honestly, you could come a hundred times and you would still probably see something new here. Everything is so amazing. I mean, honestly, I absolutely love this. It's really clever how they made this look like that. And then you have the dragon escaping, of course. <laughs> Diagonelli, love this. I mean, this set is really small, actually, I have to say. I wish you could walk through the shops. I understand they don't want people to nick the props and stuff, but honestly, this is such an amazing part of Harry Potter when he finally realizes that there are wizards and witches out there and they have this whole world. And I just really wish we could immerse ourselves more in this. It's so cool, but I definitely feel this set would be so much more fun if you could just walk into even like two of the shops and just have a look around. Even if they just were like, you know, props, it would be so much fun to have a look at. And finally, we have Hogwarts herself looking very majestic with all of this beautiful snow, 360 degrees. I mean, honestly, this is such a beautiful prop that they have. And then you come to the end of the tour and this gorgeous room filled with all of these fake wands. And then it leads you into the shop, which was so much fun to go around properly this time. When I came in September last year, I didn't get to have a really good look around here. So it was great to have literally like... I don't know, half an hour to an hour in here. I spent ages in here filming this for you guys, but also just looking at everything that they had on offer. Some things they had that they didn't have on the website and some things on the website they didn't have in, obviously, but there was just so many things to look at, so many elements that they have on offer. I mean, everything is just beautifully made and just absolutely stunning. I mean, yeah, I was just like a kid in the sweet shop. I was like, this is cool and this is cool and that's nice and I like this and I wanna see that. So honestly, it's just, so much fun. The only thing that was disappointing was how many of the sweets were smashed and broken. Like all of the sugared quills were smashed and I just think that's a bit of a shame. Probably people just go around changing their minds but apart from that the shop was so much fun. Then I made my way to the chocolate frog cafe where I tried this vegan gingerbread jumper. It was really nice. I was still so full from the ice cream but I was determined to try this. Then I made my way back to Paddington and I went and had this dinner at Bella Italia. It was vegan meatballs with some broccoli. It was okay, but to be honest, I was just so tired. I just wanted to get back to my room. So I just got back to the hotel. I am super tired after just such a long but fun day. I've just had a really quick meal. And I think honestly, I'm just going to make a few phone calls to some friends and read a book or watch the telly and just chill and go to bed early because I'm shattered. So. I will see you all in the morning. So I just got back from London. I managed to get an earlier train. So I'm actually gonna go and have a late lunch now, but I just wanted to quickly show you what I bought whilst I was there. I didn't actually get that much. That was pretty tame. Okay, so this is the spirit jersey I ended up buying. It's slightly softer material than my other spirit jersey, but that's quite nice because I'll be able to wear it under jumpers and things if I want to, but I just fell in love with this. I think the back is absolutely gorgeous, let me show you. I absolutely love this back, it's so cute. Look at it. I just think that's the most fun Christmassy thing ever. I love their Christmas jumpers, but they always sell out. But this was in the sale and I just think it's so cute. I just love that design, so I'm really happy with this. And then I also got this coffee cup holder in the sale. It's so cute and Christmassy. Obviously I'll save this to use at the end of the year. I don't even drink coffee, but I do drink matcha lattes and herbal teas. So I'll be using this. It's just so cute. Look at the design, it's lovely. Love this. I hope that you've enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next week's video.